So you're welcome to my channel. I'll, this channel is about um, musical stuff, some tips. I'll be showing some tips on on music production and some tips on how to promote your songs if you're a music artist. And um, it's doing things related to music in this channel. So if you love music, please follow and subscribe. So I'll be showing some stuff on fl some tricks on productions okay today today i'll be showing you how to use loop some people doesn't know how to use loop so i'll be breaking it down today for you um this is fl 20 20 point something i don't know okay um let me just let me grab some loops. check for so like this one you can drag just drag and drop it on this stuff so the first thing you do if you want to use a loop you have to get the timing right So this this um there's a loop and uh, what you need to do is first of all get the the tempo of the loop you want to use get the tempo so to do that just click on this little stuff here then go to the third tempo so you can choose from uh, 75 to 150 so it's help you to just read it and get the tempo so we've gotten the tempo of this loop now this is the tempo 101 so what you do if you want to increase the tempo if you don't want to use this let use it very slow like this if you want to increase the tempo too all you just need to do is to change this resample to stretch stretch then from there now you can be able to change the tempo you get it. so this is the initial tempo of the game. so if you want to put in uh, a beat into it now so we're using the loop So like, 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 let's use this one now. Let's use this loop now. So for you to be able to use this loop on this uh, melody, you have to get the time right. And by doing that, all you need to just do is to, from the resample, go to stretch. Stretch. When you on stretch now, so you go to your time. Try to make it align with this line. Just make it aligned with this line, and you'll be able. To, you're good to go. So, I think it's okay for now. So, Yeah, that's it so um if you want to add roads and all that stuff 
just the same way you just go to stretch then you try to make it align with those uh the lines that is like is now i think this should be online because it's already online with this is a line this is a line it's fixing it perfectly so that's that's for that let's let me see if i can do other examples There's some other complex ones that might not fit in like um let me get some other Let's just get to one of this. So let's just drag one of all these from this side. So this, I think this one, this, um, it's on stretch or auto stretch. So if you might be lucky to have auto. Because auto is when you just drag it, it automatically fall into the lines. So you don't need to go to stretch to stretch it. It will stretch on its own. So this one is some of those sparks, some of those uh, melody loops. Uh, they comes on. Is the way the way they program it to. So if you have the one that comes with auto, it's perfect. It's very okay. It's very very okay and you have luck with that but well, some doesn't come with auto just resample and uh, when you drag it in, inside your beats it won't fit in you have to go to stretch then you align it with the time with your time you align it to fit in into the beat so this one is perfect we have auto here so you can even change the tempo it won't affect the timing so um let's look for a loop beat that can you can just put it into this. I will advise for you to always create your beats from the scratch. You can use a loop. After you just use one or two loop, then you work on the beat yourself. Create your own style. You create your own stuff on it. So don't rely on the loop alone. No? So let's let's check some shakers. So sometimes we do have issues with shakers. No able to fall in place. So like this one now. See. So this you want to put a shaker into this now. We have this is under a sample. So what you do is just to stretch. Then look for the right spot, the right timing for it. Okay. But some of this, some of the loop, if the 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 cutting is not right, it's going to affect you. So it's like we're on point now. Let me see. So, let's be 
into little issue with this loop this issue with this loop let me check the time okay line is online so why is it it's a little longer line let's see how if this one can go so there's a little issue with this so it's going to take you more time to fix in this this loop because the the cotton is, is done wrong it didn't cut it well so all you do all you have to do most times is just to detect the tempo of the loop then you get your four bars from it so let's get the time see there's an issue with it if so let's see if we can get it to play like this. Oh no no no. That's still quite a there's an issue with this loop. So um so most times um if the cotton is bad you maybe it's from how the loop was cut it's going to affect you so it's going to affect you. it's better to just look for another loop to fit in so like this one now is I think this one is okay. Let's try this. So first of all you go to re stretch it, then put it in line. It's on line now. So I think it's going to fit in now. So that's what we have here. It's going to so that's for that this is how to use a uh, loop or uh, how to use loop and uh, how to put loop into whatever you want to do like boom to shakers into your beat you want to add some loop stuff inside your beats this is how to do it just drag it into it if you're lucky it is on auto it's going to adjust automatically but if not you go to a mode just change it to stretch then put it in line so we're good to go so if you are enjoying this video please subscribe to this channel i'll be posting more videos like this on this channel so good luck